today we are going to change the air and the cabin filter on my Renault Kajar. And yes, I changed the car since my last do-it-yourself car video, when I was talking about how to prepare a car for winter weather. Check out that video if you haven't seen it before. The location of the cabin filter is on the passenger side, under the glove box, as it is in most other car brands. The main reason for this video is because I was struggling to find instruction for this car and the ones I have found are complicated things for the cabin filter. To remove the filter, all you have to do is to remove this screw. But according to the instruction I have found, you need to remove this hand holder this plastic and this complete part, which honestly is not needed. Some of them also recommend removing the glove box too. Tools needed for this task are screwdriver and flashlight. Screwdriver is Torx size 20. So first remove the screw. the cabin filter compartment door. Pay attention that lower part of the door have the latch, so it goes first when returning door back. Pull out the old filter. As you can see, the filter is not in a terrible condition, which means that the old owner changes the filter regularly. But again, these filters can greatly affect your health and problems with allergies, so it is recommended to change them at least once a year. I always use MAN filters, which are used by many car manufacturers and are recommended by many people that work with cars. Inserting a filter, pay attention to the airflow arrow. I would recommend a bit of vacuuming before inserting the new filter. force you need to tighten the screw, but there is no need to over tighten. Now we are gonna replace the engine air filter. Here's the handle to open the hood. The second one is for the fuel tank. You don't need any tools to replace the engine air filter, but it's useful to have a flathead screwdriver. This is the air intake, but we will remove just the upper part of it.
just like that you have access to the engine air filter now we need to remove the plastic part that holds the filter in place to remove the filter without any problems you can use a flathead screwdriver as you can see this filter is also in good condition so it was replaced on time by the previous owner of course first we will vacuum everything This filter is designed so that it cannot be placed on the wrong side. Just make sure the filter is fully inserted into the compartment. Put the top part of the air intake back and you are done. Even if we didn't do anything complicated, it's advisable to start the car once to make sure there are no errors on the dashboard. This car uses a wireless key card system for unlocking and starting the car. That's all for this video, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.